Hello, it's Mrs. Murder here, and I'm happy to see everybody tuned in to see about Sue Grafton's Why is for Yesterday. I have to review Sue Grafton at this time because, as we all know, she passed away. This was her last book, and I have read all of her series, her ABC series as they call them, and enjoyed them. And I thought, you know, I really need to write the last book she wrote before she passed. And so I, I read this over the last week. And this took me longer to read than a lot of other books. It was, I don't know if I read into it because I knew that this was the last book she read. First, I checked to make sure that she didn't have... Um, someone writing part of it for her, but her family assured the the fans that no one would be writing a Z book for her because she never wanted to have a pen. No, you don't call it a pen name. What is it? Someone writing for her. So we know that this was all written by her and that she passed away after she wrote this book. And it's longer than I remembered her other books. It's also a lot, of, a lot of repetition in some of her sleuthing, and I found it very slow moving because, uh, because of the repetition. For example, um, it involves the mystery of, of it involves some high school teenagers were, were looking back at an incident that happened years before and when they were all in high school and partying and a video was made of that, well, they, they were trying to determine if it was a video that was rape or if it was a video that was a prank. And some of them said it was a prank, some of them said it was uh, was rape and so I personally usually avoid uh, because of my own fearfulness in this regard being a female uh, avoid reading about children abduction animal abuse and anything to do with molestation or rape or you know if I can and when you're reading a murder mystery many times it's just kind of skimmed over but because this tape was the core of her investigation as to why two murders had occurred of these young people even when they, you know, it's, they're now in their late 20s I guess but because of that it was referred to, described, and I thought, do we have to go over it again? And every time, I know they're trying to determine whether those who said it was a prank were being accurate or whether it really was what it seemed to be on the on the face of it. So, But there is, in this, in her investigation, there are attacks by an old attacker that came back to haunt for her, hunt for her again and uh, there's a lot of a lot of mayhem going on I guess there is a lot of sense of humor it's just a different kind of sense of humor in some of the characters and and you hate to say goodbye to some of these people because uh, her landlord we've known him through all of her mysteries we've known her the area she lives in we've known and it beautiful coast of California. We've had fun driving and riding between towns in California. It's It was a, a, an enjoyable um, series to read. When I back, I started reading this years ago, I guess in 82 she wrote her first book, but I started reading them in the 90s, I think. And I found that it was an escape it was something that I would, I had gotten out of the habit of reading from um, motherhood responsibilities and just couldn't get, by the time I'd go to bed, I'd be just too exhausted to read and the rest of the time I didn't have time in my day. And 
I started disciplining myself that I had to read a chapter before I would go allow myself to go to sleep and I fought to read it so I probably didn't get everything out of a book I could have but I managed to get myself back into the habit of reading and I have enjoyed it since so I read all of her novels and I thought I at least needed to do a mention of her as one of my uh, an author that I did appreciate did enjoy and um, why is for yesterday and yesterday is the name of a of a restaurant or a store they only refer to it once or twice but I interpret it to be very symptomatic of the fact that why is for yesterday when she when I read all of her books and she wrote all of her books as did many many followers of Sue Grafton's mysteries so if you want to pick up her last book it's um, uh, under 500 pages and it's it's interesting but it is was a hard read for me for some reason thanks for listening thanks for watching we'll tune in with the next book